Hi everyone, my name is Otis. You're welcome to Otalium's Academy. So if today is your first time of watching my video, I say welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to walk you through how you can drive traffic to your website. Are you having difficulties driving traffic to your website or your blog? Is your website statistics dwindling and winning with freaking numbers? Are you feeling overpowered by competition or you're frustrated because your website is not generating enough revenue for you? Cheers, I got a solution for you. But before we get started, the question you should ask yourself is what is it that I'm not doing right? Why is it that my, my website cannot be found online? Why is it buried among thousands? and millions of websites that finds its way on the internet every single day. So, uh, the, the, in this presentation, I'm going to show you what you need to do to make your website appear on the first page of search engine or on the first page of Google. So, you've done the hard work. You've gotten your hosting. You've written the content. You've written the content. And yet, your website is not showing on the internet. The first thing is, Probably your website is new. That's why it's not showing on the internet. But you can help Google to crawl and index your site and make it show appear on the first on, on, on Google uh, uh, search page results. So how do you do that? The first is one submitting your site to different directories and to different search engines. What are directories? Directories are different websites that has uh, sort before the one of those important things that you need to consider before submitting your site to different directory is to make sure that those directories that you are submitting your site to have uh, high domain authority and high page uh, authority because that will give enough juice to your website because that that helps you to build that credibility online it is just a similar way that in in in, in, in the physical world where um you ask you tell me who you uh, tell me who your friends are then i'll tell you who you are so it is similar to that because you're telling google that the people you are associated are uh, you are associated with on the internet are trusted can you imagine if you're building links like uh, uh with yep um google my business uh uh, your whole local businesses, your four squares, these are businesses or these are domain, uh, that these are websites that have high page authority and domain authority. So it is important to know that. So what do you do? The first is, I, I talked about, sorry, this, this, the, I'm going to the second one. I talked about submitting your site to different directories to build that credibility that Google is looking for because Google uses its complex algorithm to crawl and index site. And once they index your site, the next thing is page rank. And page rank is your position on search engine. And everyone wants to be on the first page of Google. So the next uh, for you to show up on search engine page result on the first page of Google is one. Um, generate keyword. Keywords are how your site advertises its content to, to potential uh, customers or potential visitors to your site. So when Google, when the, the potential visitors uh, query uh, Google or puts, go into their web browser and put some certain keywords, what Google does is Google uses its algorithm or other search engine using the algorithm to actually pull relevant content relevant uh, information uh, that is relevant to the user's uh, search query so that's why it is important but in the last update google or uh, is not actually is not the keyword is no longer a ranking factor but it is very very important because it adds juice to your optimization process so it is important that you pay attention to that generate keyword do keyword research uh, there are so many tools out there that you can use to generate keywords you have the google uh, keyword planner you have the who rank and you have different ones there that are out there so another important thing is that like as i said you spend quite quality time in, in in creating your website so it is also important for you to analyze your content because when you analyze your content it actually ensures uh, that you actually you have that accurate uh, uh, information on your website that your website is actually relevant to users query or what uh, your site stands for and make sure that it has the relevant keyword also so that is why it is very very important for you to analyze your content regularly to see if it is meeting with the standard and it's also important that each page of your website make sure that it doesn't it it has uh, more than four uh, three hundred words 
for Google to actually call and index that site. That is that's also very important. When your key, when the content on your web pages is below 300, so um, that pro, that page may likely have some problem in terms when it comes uh, when it comes to that visibility. But the most important thing is the relevance of your of of your, of your content. So another is optimizing your tags. So you now wonder why is my site not showing up on Google or other search engine? The different types of tags. You have the uh, the title tags. You have the meta tags. So the title tags, it is important because uh, this is just a snapshot. You have less than a second to appeal to uh, users or potential visitors that is going on your site, that is browsing on the internet. So you must have uh, a very compelling uh, title to actually attract the potential uh, uh, visitors that are looking for certain uh, information on, on, on your site. So that's why that's what we call optimizing those meta tags. So uh, then, sorry, the title tags or the header tags. So if you are, if you don't, uh, if you don't have that programming knowledge, so you can use some plugins, especially if you are using your, your WordPress. So you can use uh, Yoast plugin. So Yoast plugin will do almost fifty percent of your entire optimization process. One is because you have the title. Uh, the title tags there, the meta tags is already shown to you and it shows you a preview of how it's going to appear on the page of Google. So uh, pay attention to that. If you don't have that, you can just upload it. You can use the free one if you're just starting. If you're just a newbie, try it out and see how it works for you. So then if it works for you and you want to go to premium and I started with the free one, so um, you, you, you can do that. So then another is controlling the crawling of Google. There are certain pages of your website that you don't want uh, people to see, the, uh, the, your visitors to see, uh, the outside world to see. So you can instruct, it probably is going to hurt your, your, your content, uh, your website, or your, uh, maybe is your customer information that you don't, want, you don't want to display that. So you can actually add that robot test, instructing Google or non-index for Google not to index that page. So what happened is that it may crawl, but it's not going to index it that when users actually query for that information, even though that page have that relevant information, uh, Google or other search engine is not going to make that information available to that, uh, to that user. So another important thing is your sitemap. The sitemap, I cannot overemphasize. Very, very important. So because it is the athlete, it is the roadmap of your website, the, hierarch uh, the hierarchical um, or the sorry, that word is somehow very difficult to pronounce. So um, the how important the page, the layout of that page, not how important the layout of that page. So it makes it easy for Google algorithm, the spiders, to crawl your page when they know the page layout. They know how the pages are interconnected. So everything is embedded in the sitemap. And it, once you create your sitemap, there are different plugins that you can use to create your sitemap. You have the Google uh, sitemap. So when you create your sitemap. So what you do, you don't just end there because you need Google to crawl this thing. You don't have to wait for Google to crawl your site periodically. So what you do, once you create your, your, your sitemap, so you upload that sitemap. And if you don't have the Google Console, console account, so you go to Google Console, so you create the account. So you can actually submit your sitemap immediately and Google cross that immediately. So you don't have to wait for the algorithm to crawl that. So that is also very important for you to know that. So you don't have to wait for Google to cry. So um, once again, to so we'll talk about the risk snippet. Um, the risk snippet, it actually helps to improve your click to rate. So what is your risk snippet? You see, when you go on Google or other search engine and you're querying for certain information, it gives you the title, it gives you the brief description of what you're looking for. You, then you can look if it is relevant to, to your search and what happened? So you click on that. So if you have a rich snippet, pay attention when you are creating that meta tag. It is very, very important that it, it is compelling enough uh, to that is compelling enough to attract the users or potential visitors to click through that. So when you have a rich snip, snippet, it increases your click through rate, and that may eventually increase your conversion. So that's how important your snippet is. And if you are using this Yoast plugin, uh, it
it helps a lot because it calls you it tells you the point it tells you that this page is optimized and when you see the green light you know you're good to go so uh, sometimes it gets to orange but you might not get it right uh, at once so you just keep optimizing but you surely get there so that's why that's it is very, very important so i've actually discussed about uh, seven points on how uh, you can that can help you to improve your ranking um, help Google to crawl and in, index your website and other search engine so I believe that this information is helpful and if it is helpful for you and if you like the content if you like what I've said don't forget to give me a thumbs up just give me just put a comment below on the on, on the comment box uh, and tell us how we're doing we we'll like your feedback and again so and before you leave don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can get more of our videos on how to rank on google how to uh, uh, improve your increase your visibility online and how to grow your business online and uh, just want to say thank you and for also follow us on other social network just want to say thank you for watching this video i hope to see you next time do have a great day